And here we go for the two mile, two furlong class four maiden for three year olds and up. A long race here at Ascot. And some potential gold cup horses lining up here, hopefully. So we've got Walk the Line for myself. Or Wind, Wind Feel Ollie for Dee Hooley. Yesia Chippy Alexins. Chapter Blend Ryan Costello. Port Mirian Woodfire for James Shea. Tigava Pontypool Racing. Underground for Craig Beckwith. And Royal Longbow for Jim Murray. And they're off and racing. Hope you've made yourself a nice cup of tea for this one because we're in for a long one here. Two miles and two furlongs to travel. And the early pace being set by my horse there, Walk the Line. On the rail we've got Tagava who now presses into that early lead as Walk the Line's just being held back to sit in behind the pace. Just on the inside of Yassir Chippy we've got uh, Port Mirian Woodfire on the rail and out towards the back we've got Windfield Oli for Dave Hooley's happy to be held up and in behind although he's just trying to find a little bit of room there at the back not quite happy and being switched right out to the outside maybe he wants to be closer to the lead early on so we've got Tagava setting a modest pace here up in the lead as we go past all the crowd there in the stands here at Ascot Tagava still leads by about two lengths we've got Underground in second, the grey horse uh, on the outside, just in front of Yassir Chippy. Underground just being pushed along there for a couple of strides. But Tagava still in the lead and just bowling along in front there. A good few lengths now in the lead of Underground. Port Miriam Woodfire still just tracking on the rail. Windfield Ollie is now going really wide on the outside. And the jockey just doesn't look quite happy with the position uh, of that horse at the moment. So Tagava now as they turn right-handed and start moving downhill. We've still got... About a mile and a half left to travel here. Tigava has opened up a good four or five length lead now of Walk the Line, who's just going to press forward and try and close that gap. Even though we've still got a long way to go, they don't want to give that leader too soft a lead. So Tigava, still about four, four to five lengths though from Walk the Line. Chapter Blend, Port Mirian Woodfire still on the rail. That one's just sitting in front of Yassir Chippy. Underground's now moved back and is in a share of second last place with Royal Longbow and still the back marker, Windfield Ollie. For the trainer D. Hooley making a return like myself to the Starters Orders League this season. Tagava still in the lead with nine and a half furlongs left to go and just started to put a little bit more pace into this race. Going to see if he can put a few of these horses in behind under a bit of pressure as we approach the mile pole. But walk the, walk the line is going to start moving forward now and try and close that gap as is Chapter Blend. Just in behind those, we've got Yassir Chippy, Royal Longbow, Port Murian Woodfire. Winfield Oli is no longer the back marker, and that place is now being taken by the number seven, Underground. So Tagava is now being joined up from by Walk the Line. Walk the Line just looking to close this gap as we go into the final seven furlongs. Jockey just takes a look around to see if the other riders are coming any closer as well, but it's still Tagava in the lead. Walk the Line in second. A few lengths back now to Yassir Chippy, who's going to start trying to move forward as well. Loyal, Royal Longbow just being scrubbed along a little bit there, as is Port Mirian Woodfire, just to start closing this gap. Tagava now being pushed along in front as well. And Walk the Line is just cruising along in second place there. Looks really happy, the jockey on that one. Yassir Chippy moving forward. It looks as though the gap's going to start to close now as Port Murian Woodfire, Royal Longbow. Underground starting to move forward as well. The grey, after being relegated back to last place, is now starting to fly forward. Winfield Ollie coming on the outside. Tagava now kicks on again and opens up another few lengths lead from Walk the Line. Who's the jockey's finally getting to work on that one, wants to close the gap. But at the moment, it's Underground and Yassir Chippy that are looking the more likely challenges. Winfield Ollie up on the outside. We've then got Port Miriam Woodfire and Royal Longbow. Chapter Blend looks to be struggling. But as we go into the final two and a half furlongs, it's Tagava. Underground now on the outside. The grey is the one that's really putting in the challenge from Yassir Chippy. Port Miriam Woodfire trying to get into it. So we've got Tagava still in the lead. Underground now finally takes on that leader. Tagava's led from since the gates opened but is no longer the leader. As we go into the last furlong, it's underground. From Tagava in second, walk the line trying to stay on in third. But I think he's left it a bit too late. There's Yassir Chippy and Port Miriam Woodfire in behind those. But as we come towards the line, Underground has run away with this race. Underground takes it from a good couple of lengths to Tagava in second. Walk the line back in third, looked like it got outpaced actually. And then we had Winfield Ollie and the rest of the challengers flying forward. That race turned into a bit of a stroll there for Underground towards the end, just ran away with the race, wins it at eight to one. Tagava in second place at five to one there for Pontypool Racing. Walk the line for Ryan Tamasebi, that's my stable in third and fourth was Yassir Chippy for Alex Ince and 5th Royal Longbow for Jim Murray.